Hey, good afternoon. How are all my beautiful soul family members doing today? Hope you're all doing great. Having a beautiful day. Welcome to today's tarot, daily tarot love reading. Uh, my name is Morty. For those of you that may be new to the channel, uh, for those of you that are regular subscribers and viewers, welcome back. It's great to it's great to be here with you. Um, today is uh, Wednesday, September the fourth. The time is two forty eight p.m. Um, it's a beautiful day outside, uh, and I've just I've been feeling and experiencing some pretty amazing energies here, as I've been kind of going through some meditation and, and just kind of warming up, you know, getting my kind of setting my my intention um, prior to going into the tarot reading. I was listening to um, John Lennon's Imagine um, as I was shuffling the cards, and you know I'm thinking about you know all of all of us. Uh, you know, and you know, from the from the comments, you know, they're they're images with many views. So when I'm responding to the comments, you know, I I'm familiar with the images. So um, it was really easy to you know to imagine you know all of you as I was listening to that song, and I don't know, I really enjoyed the feeling and the energy that I felt from it. So I kind of took it a step further and just placed my hands on the tarot cards and closed my eyes and listened to the song again and really focused on, you know, sending out that intention of unconditional love, um, you know, prior to going into the today's tarot love reading. So anyways, it's just part of my experience and I, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, so thank you very much for letting me share. All right. So I mean, there are a lot of things that I could talk about. Um, you know, the other thing that I was thinking about, uh, you know, I kind of felt a connection, right, between what we're creating here on this channel, right, and what John Lennon is singing about in Imagine. Um, because we're talking about, you know, creating a world of, of forgiveness and understanding, uh, a world of unconditional love and compassion and of service, um, yeah, of sympathy and of empathy. Uh, those are, I mean, those are all beautiful energies, and they're all energies that he's kind, of, he's discussing throughout the song. Um, and those are, honestly, those are the messages and the energies that, you know, that are the intention of, that we're sending out through these tarot readings. So, yeah. And as I was listening to the song, I was just, I don't know, it was kind of like it was a ripple effect. You know, it was just growing. It was, it was kind of a neat experience. And after all, I am an Aquarius, right? So I am a dreamer. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to next year. Uh, I'm in a I'm in a personal year number two this year, uh, and next year I go into a three. And uh, so two year year two is about communication, and relationships, and such. Um, year three is about creativity, and. Um, yeah, I just know from looking back at my life at previous year, personal year threes, um, yeah, creativity coupled with, with inspiration and some beautiful creative energy. Um, yeah, and I'm a dreamer, so who knows where we're going to go with this channel, right? Where it's going to take us, uh, what opportunities might come about from it. I mean, you just never know. And I'm speaking for all of us. Okay, so I want to begin today's tarot love reading by tapping the crystal healing bowl and just giving it a moment to sing to us. And it's a perfect time to just remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading and allow ourselves to step into a space and a place where we're open to receiving any messages that may be meant for you to hear today. The background music for today's tarot love reading is the love frequency. Um, yeah, after listening to Imagine by John Lennon, it just seems so appropriate, so. Okay, that was a very interesting song this time. Um, 
it started off so subtle, right? Really, really slow. And I mean, it, it built itself up powerfully. So I hope you guys were able to catch all of that on your end. Okay, so we want to begin today's Tarot Love Reading by pulling an affirmation card just so we can see which affirmation our guides feel would be best suited for us to hear prior to taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading. I was glancing down there to see if I had my glasses here, and I do. I may be okay without them today, though. Okay, beautiful. All right, so for today's Terra Love Reading, September 4th, Wednesday, we drew the affirmation of sensuality, the number 21. Your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. Your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. Your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. Okay. Um, I love this affirmation. You guys know that I love this affirmation. You know, I kind of consider, you know, dancing, loving, laughing, playing, you know, the four virtues. You know, if, the week, if we each have the opportunity to, to, to be able to integrate a little bit of those into our life each day, right? It just creates this beautiful balance. It reminds us that life isn't so serious. Life is meant to be enjoyed, you know, uh, to have fun. Yeah, I am going to use my glasses after all. I want to read to us real quickly from the guidebook. This is a pretty important and meaningful affirmation. And it's an affirmation that I'm a little bit passionate about, so I have to read from the guidebook. Okay, so family members. Mermaids are celebrated for their sensuality, their sovereignty, their beauty, and their freedom. They revel in their desirability, and we are going to work with them in this powerful, liberating spell. If this spell has chosen you, be reminded that it is safe to explore and celebrate your sensual self. Your sexuality is yours to celebrate, explore, share, and adore. The universe does not punish us for being who we are, yet many of us carry conditioned guilt from religions and families who have feared punishment for the enjoyment of their own sensual selves. The universe wants you to know that your sensuality is sacred and that allowing its power to be expressed is part of being alive. Your sexuality is part of your divine nature. There is no shame in desiring, being desired, and yet remaining sovereign. If you have chosen a spell, you may be aware that you have some issues around your sexuality. Many people feel guilt around sex. This is not anything new. Guilt and shame disconnect us from a great source of self-love, energy, power, and worth. This spell will assist you in expressing yourself sensually. Becoming freer and less concerned about judgment, you will be able to revel in sensual enjoyment without obligation, cost, or loss of freedom or guilt. Be free and happy in your sensual, sovereign self. Okay. You can see why I love this affirmation. You know, in many ways, it's, you know, it's kind of represents that energy of reconnecting ourself with our, with our childlike self, you know, with that, that kid within us. It's before, before life happened for all of us, right? And, and you know, for many of us, life is difficult. Um, it's a struggle. It doesn't have to be, right? But the reality is, yeah, just for each and every one of us to keep ourselves alive, it is a struggle. So it's about balancing out that struggle with dancing, loving, laughing, and playing. So the opening energy taking us 
into today's tarot love ring. Hang on, I need to get, get another drink. Comes to us as the Six of Swords. Uh, so the Six of Swords, it's a good energy. Right? If you look at the figure here in the card, she's been in battle. All right? She's chosen to lie down her swords, turn her back, and to walk the other direction. So typically swords, right, they're, they're, they're mental energies, limitations. Um, so many times, you know, these limitations, they're, they're connected to experiences that we've had in the past, right? Um, their experiences were, you know, there was disappointment, letdown, failure, sadness, grief. And we carry some of those energies with us. This is a, pointing out the energy of, of a willingness to, to lie those down. It serves you very well and to move forward, right? She's moving forward with faith. Notice the skies are parting, you know, the sun's beginning to pierce through. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, coming in next, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands represents fire sign energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be, right? But it's that fast moving energy, right? Very confident. Uh, king, so we think of male energy, right? Which will be the case for many, but doesn't have to be. And the King of Wands, he knows what he wants, right? That kind of energy that goes after it. Confident. He's able to lift and inspire others around him, right? inspire them on his ideas. To the King of Wands, we have the Three of Cups. Uh, and three of Cups is beautiful energy, representing that energy of you know, getting together with friends, uh, sharing, and could be friends from the past where there's a history, or where you're sharing stories and laughter, maybe dancing, loving, laughing, playing, right? This is a perfect opportunity, right? Sometimes it's so much easier when we're out socializing with friends. I really felt that connection, so I had to share that, hence the smile. Also a little pickier on the flips these days you know I'm really looking for seeking for those single card individual flips I like the intention it's there behind them okay coming in next and showing up at the center of today's tarot love reading we have the five of Pentacles right? so I get it not an energy that we love to see you know especially showing up at the center of the reading but we don't know what the message is yet we don't know what it's about right? it's a limiting energy it's Represents that energy of scarcity, right? of lacking, of, of going without. You see mother and child, they're huddled together under this tree. So they're out in the elements, they're in the cold. Coming in next to the Five of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords. Right? So we came into the 
today's tarot reading with the Six of Swords. Now we have the Seven of Swords, which it's a little bit of limiting energy. Is it represents that energy of you know something in your life? It could represent the energy of you go instead coming into something right, feeling like you're a little more prepared than it turned out that you were. So it can be that energy. Um, I kind of describe this energy as just being it's resistance in your life. Right? You know what? You feel like it's an uphill battle. Um, just not able to get ahead, right? Not able to win. So when this card shows up, you know, typically the message is that you're being encouraged to step away, right? Uh, to spend your energy in other areas. Coming in next to the Seven of Swords, we now have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a good energy, right? Like all Knight energies, you can count on it showing up. This is the most reliable of the Knight energies, right? But it's also the slowest moving, right? kind of represented by Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It comes in without weapons, right? So I feel like this Knight's coming in with unconditional love. Coming in, but coming in slowly. For some, it may very well be a night. Could be an earth sign. For others, you know, just representing that energy of, of security, of stability. Okay. All right, we have a couple here. Coming in attached to the King of Wands, we now have the Queen of Wands. Uh, so the Queen of Wands is beautiful energy, represented by Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Queen of Wands, the most intuitive of the queens. Her companion is the Lion, representing power and strength, right? So very fast moving, right? Creative energy, uh, confident energy, very positive and upbeat. two fire signs here. Okay, coming in next and attached to the Three of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles is a great energy, representing Earth sign energy, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. King of Pentacles, yeah, typically this is a very seasoned and experienced energy in life, right? Meaning they have some, some years of life experience underneath their belt. Right? And in those years of life experience comes typically a tremendous amount of wisdom. Right? Uh, so that wisdom creates a lot of stability and security right, for this king and for those around this king. coming in attached to the Three of Cups. Okay, they're limiting energies, you know. It's like, oh, I get a little tempted to pop them back in, but they'll come out again. Um, it's part of the reading, so it needs to come out. There are messages that are here. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords coming out now. Uh, showing up at the center of today's Tarot Love Reading and it's connected to the Five of Pentacles. Um, so the Five of Pentacles is that energy of scarcity, right? Of, of going without. And attached to that is fear. Right? This is an elevated version of fear. Um, possibly affecting sleep. Um, you know, not getting the kind of rest that you need because of fears, worries, and concerns, right? And these are fears and the worries and concerns that are attached to this energy of, of scarcity, of going without. Okay, coming in next to the Seven of Swords, or attached to the Seven of Swords, we have the Five of Cups. So, Five of Cups is a limiting energy. If you look at the figure here in the card, she's staring down at these three spilled cups in front of her. Spilled cups in the water represent disappointments, right? And they're in the water, so 
There's a lot of emotion and feeling that's attached to these disappointments. So typically it represents you know, heartbreak, sadness, grief of some sort, pretty heavy energies. So heavy that that's her sole focus right here. It prevents her from seeing these two full cups that are being offered to her on both sides. And so when this energy comes up, right, it's pointing it out so that we can recognize it, be aware of it. How do we get ourselves out of this energy? We change the meaning of what these spilled cups are, right? Because when it first happened, there was sadness and grief. We have the Six of Swords taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading, right? So this is about letting down, letting go of these limitations, right? These energies that stay with us and moving forward with faith and trust. Then we can begin to see that life is not so bleak. That's coming in attached to the Seven of Swords, right? Which is really kind of emphasizing the message, right? For, for many of us out there with this energy. Okay. Came right out. So coming in now, attached to this Knight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, and we have the, the Nine of Swords at the center of the reading. It's, it's a limiting energy, right? Again, it's representing this energy of fear. Uh, you see the figure here in the card. She appears to be bound by these ravens, right? And surrounded by swords. If you look closely, her binds are pretty loose. She could wiggle herself free and remove the blindfold and step away from the swords. She has to choose to do this. She, he, or she. It's just a she on the card. So it's coming in attached to the Knight of Pentacles, right? So that, that energy of stability and insecurity, right? Maybe possibly even the Knight. Maybe the fear, right, of this Knight being so slow coming in. Okay, energy taking us out of today's Tarot Love Reading is the Death card. It shot right out uh, by itself. Uh, it's represented by the card of the energy of Scorpio. Right? So some of you may have a Scorpio in your life. Um, it's just occurring to me right here that this is the first and only major arcana that has come out in today's Tarot Love Reading. Right? And this is a transformational card. Right? Um, it represents something right coming to an ending um, in order for a beautiful beginning to start right? represented by the light piercing through the sky piercing through even death itself and you have these divine like butterflies right? taking you towards this beautiful beginning so it's a transformational kind of change um, and it's connected to you know the center of today's tarot love reading right? which are the energies of that scarcity of, of being left out in the cold, of going without, and, and the fear, the, the fears and the worries and the, cons and the concerns that are attached to that, right? It's just very important to, for us to be able to allow those energies to pass. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. Uh, I have the cards laid out now. I'm going to take a moment, look at them. I need to see and feel exactly what messages are, are you know, meant to be shared here in today's tarot reading. So I'll come right back and share it with you. Uh, and I may very well go after some clarification today too, because again, I'm not really worried about time. I just enjoy this time to connect with each and every one of you, so.
And so I'm, I really want to take my time with this today because um, I'm, I'm feeling the, the depth and the meaning here. Um, I want to make sure we see everything. Okay, so I think I have it here. It's, it's so strange um, because right right away, you know, going as I was sitting down to, to begin, you know, preparing for today's tarot reading, even prior to speaking to my guides and everything. Um, oh, I'll tell you what it was. I was listening to, I was listening to music uh, on my playlist, right? And it, random shuffles. I turned it over to my guides, right? For meaning and messages, right? Synchronicities. Um, I seek those. Um, I do. I do often, frequently. Um, yeah, because I'm always looking for truth and meaning and direction and guidance. So, anyways, when when my my uh, I brought my playlist in here, right? The song that came on was "Apologize," uh, Justin Timberlake, right? And I don't know. I kind of felt this forgiveness kind of connection there. Um, yeah, so I was kind of feeling out why, you know, today's reading, forgiveness, right? It's about forgiveness, um, which truly it is. Uh, and it's just, these are, these are some very heavy energies, right? For somebody who's been carrying around for quite a while. Uh, I can feel, I can feel the heaviness of, of the, the loss. I can feel it in the, the Five of Cups. Uh, you know, that, that water just really, really pulled me in today in that car in that energy in that card uh, which you know lets me know that it was very difficult and very emotional and sad experience um, probably energies we've been carried around for quite some time so yeah and it may be you may already be in a relationship right and these are energies that are there right that are just it's important for you to to allow them to pass right to allow this transformational change to happen and it will be a transformational change for you uh, because these these heavy energies have been weighing you down for some time um, so when you're able to truly release those and let those go I mean wow the weight that will be lifted okay this is about balance too you know it's about it's about fun as well it's about you know what comes after this what awaits? Sensuality. Right? Sensuality. I feel like this is the affirmation taking us into the tarot reading, right? Because many times it's this energy of sensuality, right? If we're able to connect ourselves with it, it kind of pulls us, pulls us out of a funk, right? It can, it can do an energetic shift for us, right? That, that can be the, the stepping stones towards moving towards that absolution that you know, forgiveness right whether this is about forgiving somebody else or, if, or whether it's about forgiving ourselves it doesn't matter right both probably apply your freedom flowing from far away I dance I love I laugh I play right being able to feel and connect yourself with these energies uh, kind of bringing you out of it out of your shell out of, out of the funk you know out of feeling these heavy limiting energies Okay, coming in next. The energy taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading is the Six of Swords. So it represents that energy of a willingness to lie down the swords, right, and to move forward, right? 
the energy taking us out of today's tarot love reading. It's a death card, right? The ending, the completion, right? Lie down these swords, allow it to pass. Forgiveness, understanding, transformational change that comes afterwards. Yeah, I'm really enjoying today's tarot love reading. Coming in next, we have the King of Wands, and, the cat, and attached to the King of Wands, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, so for some, this can represent a couple. Um, I recognize that in tarot readings, when you have the same, you know, King and the Queen of the same suit come, come out together, it can represent a couple. Uh, in this case, it's a couple, fire sign energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. But this is kind of what I feel like, the reason that I feel like these energies are coming out is I feel like this is, this is what, the, what comes after the transformational change, right? These are the energies that are, that are awaiting you, you. And for many of you, it may be reigniting you with you know, your true Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energetic self, you know, that's confident, you know, fast moving, um, ready to pick up the pieces and move on. There's, there's a lot of great energy there. Okay, coming in next in today's Tarot Love Reading, we have the Three of Cups, right? And I'm immediately connecting, dancing, loving, laughing, playing, right? With this Three of Cups energy of getting out with friends and, and socializing, sharing stories, right? And just kind of breaking out of your mold a little bit. It's coming in attached to the King of Pentacles, right? So message may be for an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, right? But it represents this energy of stability, of security, right? And there's a, there's a connection there of being able to create more of this energy for you when you are able to, to begin to break out of your mold a little bit and just have a good time, right? Just get out with friends. Just feel that fantastic energy and feel your own fantastic energy come to light again. For whatever reason, it's never, it's never popped out at me before, right? But that full moon is just glaring at me. Okay, coming in next and showing up at the center of today's tarot love reading, we have the Five of Pentacles. Right? So it's a limiting energy of scarcity, right? Of, of being left out in the cold. We have fear. It's attached to it, right? Um, it's just this five of pentacles of like, well, you know, are things going to get better? Um, you know, for some, you know, will I find, will I have that love again in my life? Will I, will I find that connection? Um, will I share in that closeness? You know, and there's a fear and there's worries and, the, and there are concerns, you know, that are attached to that. I have to point out, you know, the other energies that are showing up in the tarot reading are, you know, five of cups here, which, you know, for many, our energies are focused on, focused on those limiting energies of loss and grief. Showing up next, we have the seven of swords, and attached to it is the five of cups, right? So, feeling this very energy of, of stuck, of whatever's happened in the past, right? You know, the heaviness of it. Um, possibly uh, it's keeping you all I can say is I feel it it's just it sounds stuck right it, just, it feels like a stuck position um, it's so important right this is why you're being encouraged to step away from it with the seven of swords you know allow this to pass right and it happens by way of forgiveness you know it helps pointing out the growth right and the understanding here right? Because many times, I mean, forgiveness sometimes comes without understanding, right? We don't necessarily have to understand everything entirely in order to truly forgive. And I usually don't elaborate that much on this, but I am today for some reason. And I'm really feeling it. So 
So yeah, coming in next, we have the Knight of Pentacles, right? Representing that energy of security, of stability, right? Coming in, but coming in slowly, right? But it's, it's the most reliable of the night energies, right? So knowing it's coming may help you overcome this fear and worry and concern that's attached to whether or not this night will ever show. The night shows. The energy taking us out of today's Tarot Love Reading is the Death card, right? So it's kind of putting an exclamation point in a way on the Tarot Reading, right? Um, and realize that the messages in today's Tarot Love Reading, I mean, they're all for your greater good, right? They truly are. This is so important, right? Um, to break through this this the shell, um, to be able to allow this this ending to happen, this transformational change to take place within you. And then you're just ignited, you know, with this fantastic King and Queen of Wands energy. Okay, I have to get a little more clarification here, so. So the first area of clarification I want to ask about is is this Five of Pentacles right, showing up at the center of today's Tarot Love Reading. Tell us more about the Five of Pentacles. So getting further clarification now on this Five of Pentacles, we now have the Three of Swords, right? So the Three of Swords represents that limiting energy of, of heartbreak, right, of loss. Right? So that's what, that's what this energy of scarcity, being left out in the cold is connected to, right? It began with, with this tragic heartbreak and loss, this experience that happened. Trying to, I'm trying to connect with your, all of your energies and, and pick up on those areas here where, you know, you, you guys are looking for some further clarification. Um, I can, let me ask some further clarification on this King of Wands energy. Tell us more about the King of Wands. So getting some further clarification on this King of Wands energy, we got the Hermit card, which is the card of Virgo. Right? So uh, this King of Wands energy may very well be connected to Virgo, right? Um, and just has that, you know, fast moving, confident energy. Why? It's been deep in thought, right? It's been on a journey thought about experiences of what's happened. Uses the lantern that, that, to illuminate the night sky, you know, connecting ourselves with our intuition, right? Following that inner feeling. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, it's like the more difficult sometimes in life our experiences are, um, the more growth, right? And profound growth that's there. And that's found, right, and it's attached to this King of Wands energy from going inward. OK, 
okay, now I want to, I mean, it, the reading seems so, so clear to me. Um, seems to very connected on reading it. Um, the messages, they seem very clear and specific. I'm gonna ask about this Eight of Swords down here in the corner that's attached to this Knight of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Eight of Swords. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so there's my sign. I asked for further clarification on the Eight of Swords, which is presently attached to the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so pretty strong and clear message that's there. It's just kind of reconfirming and validating and probably validating what I just shared of, it just seems so clear already. Right, I don't, for the clarification could just be overkill. Um, but yeah, if any of you, you know, felt differently, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, I really, I really enjoyed today's Tarot Love reading. Um, I feel the meaning. Yeah. I feel the energy of, of the meaning that's, that's connected to this. Uh, for somebody out there, right? I hope it finds you, right? Or all of you. Okay, guys, wishing you the very best today. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for letting me share. I uh, really enjoyed today's Tarot Love reading. Have a great day. Uh, just real quick, I forgot to mention at the beginning of today's Tarot Love reading, some of you probably noticed I changed the tapestry on the wall behind us here. Um, I have the elephant up here now. It's just a nice, nice change, and I like the elephant. I like what the elephant represents. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy it and like it. Thanks again.